I'm Tom Kelly, and I've never won a college face-off. Bam bam, mon chat se place, j'ai sur mon lit à bouffer sa langue en buvant trop mon whisky Quant à moi, peu dormi, vie débris, mais j'ai dû dormir dans la boutière où j'ai eu un flash En quatre couleurs Allez hop, un matin, une louloute est venue chez moi, poupée de cellophane, cheveux chinois Un sparadra, une gueule de bois A bu ma bière dans un grand verre en caoutchouc I grew up Rocky Point, Long Island. Um, never, never really focused on face-offs until I was in ninth grade. My older brother was uh, the starting goalie for our, our varsity team. Uh, a guy, Matt Schomburg, Long Island legend, coaches face-offs all over the country, was doing a face-off clinic at my school. And um, I wasn't actually even invited. My older brother threw me in the car, put my gear in the car, and then pushed me out the door when we got there and said, you're going. Uh, after, you know, two hours of face-offs, my coach asked Matt, um, you know, who's our face-off guy? Who's, who has the most potential here? And Shami pointed to me, picked me out. I was a ninth grader at the time, wasn't playing on varsity, wasn't just kind of on the team because my brother was the goalie and it made it easier for my parents to get the games. And uh, from there on out, you know, I started training, really caring about taking draws and realized the importance of taking face-offs. And uh, then I became a face-off guy. I went on after high school to play at the University of Virginia. Um, uh, I wore my stat line in college was 0 for 1. Um, I, I struggled academically. I had a tough time putting together the lacrosse and school and social life aspect. And, you know, after after I left UVA, I stepped away from the game for a little while. I think I went you know three years without touching a stick. Uh, got back into coaching face-offs. And you know the kids really motivated me to to pick it back up and, and start start reaching my potential. And uh, when I heard from from Matt that he said I, I think you could jump into the MLL and make an impact, I kind of laughed at him and I was like, yeah, you know, we'll see. This overweight, you know, out of shape guy trying to make a comeback. Um, so I, I, you know, put the pedal to the metal, started really working at it. And uh, after you know a year of training or so. Um, Matt said, all right, well, I'll call every every GM in the league and make sure that someone at least gives you a tryout. Um, and then from that point, I heard from a couple different GMs. And um, then I heard from Denver, and they said that they were going to take me early in the supplemental draft. And I got invited to training camp, played played some of my best lacrosse, and it's all history from there. I've been the, the starting face-off guy for the last two years and been fortunate enough to play in two championship games. I, you know, we lost last year in the championship, which has made it a very long off season this season. But winning that first one, first year back, definitely was a, a confidence boost for me. My uh, philosophy on, on face-offs is speed beats everything. It doesn't matter how strong or small you are. Um, if you're quicker than the guy and have better technique, you're going to be able to win 90% of the face-offs. Um, when it comes to those 50-50 grinds, I mean, strength doesn't hurt either. So I tend to work on a lot of upper body stuff and, and leg stuff. So. I could grind and scrap in those uh, those 50/50s. I recently signed with String King. Um, they were they were coming out with a face-off stick. Um, approached me a little while back and, and pretty much wanted to know my thoughts. So I, I picked it up. I used it a bunch of times. Um, you know, I've never had a stick perform like this before. That I could take 200, 300 face-offs and it looks the same as when I took it out of the box. Um, 
Also, this, the scoop on this thing is phenomenal. It's an absolute vacuum off the turf. This head is, is going to be really strong front to back. Um, side to side is where, is where you want your flexibility. And I feel like this has the perfect balance between stiffness and flexibility when it comes to front to back stiffness and flexibility side to side. Um, every face-off guy wants to be able to get a pinch of pop, get it out quick, not worry about leaving the ball behind. And this thing absolutely swallows up the ball off the first clamp. So flex point on this thing is pretty much perfect. Um, scoop's perfect. Stringing's perfect. Um, the amount of stringing holes, it, it allows a face-off guy to really hone in his pocket, get the best pocket that he likes, uh, something that's going to be easier for ground balls, carrying the ball type of thing. Um, so, yeah, overall, best product I think I've ever used. It's a face-off guy's dream. It's, it's what every... Every youth and every face-off player who takes face-offs as well as plays midfield, this, they should definitely have this in their bag. Um, you know, people ask all the time about these square stringing holes and they're, they're going up the sides. And, you know, I've used these things for probably half a year now and I, I haven't, haven't cracked one. So um, it's just all around a solid product. Um, and uh, I think it's the best head on the market. I usually suck on camera. I'm just comfortable around you guys because I've met you a couple of times. But... <laughs> so I play, I play Fortnite a lot. Um, I play with, uh, I'll give him a couple of shout outs. I play with uh, Matt Cavanaugh, Garrett Eppel, and uh, my buddy Gilly. So we're, we're online all the time, uh, trying to get wins every night. Sometimes, sometimes it comes early and you call it an early night. And sometimes you play until 3.30 in the morning and you still don't have a win. So you just got to call it a night there.